So welcome to uh, my coronavirus model railway layout. Uh, I'm calling it that because we're all now stuck at home and we've had a few people saying, can we please put some videos on so that people at least have got something to watch? Um, I only get my asthma about once a year. So of course it's flared up right in the middle of this virus. So I'm definitely not going out for two weeks. So I thought, um, why not try and make a little layout or as much of it I can in, in that two weeks period. It gives me something to do, it gives people something to watch. I'm obviously really into my shunting at the moment because of our rather nice new budget model railway shunter, which not only were we excited about, judging by the sales, so are a lot of other people. We bought a new Hornby chassis for it, so it's a very nice runner. And I also have a ridiculously large collection of shunters, witness the class 08 in the background, bagnalls and all sorts of things. So I want to make a shunting layout. I don't want to make... The other two I tinkered with, I'm still not quite happy with. So yes, this is yet another shunting layout, trying to get it right. However, what I'm going to do with this one, it's just shunting. So again, we've got no station. Now, there's lots of things I could do with it. I could make it a bit more modern, use the buildings of my other layout, run like a mail order company. So in and out. So I've got to shunt the wagons backwards and forwards. What I've done is put a kickback siding in because I was doing some reading on these. And the idea of the kickback siding is it makes it difficult because... If I want to get those out of there, I have to clear here. So the idea is you have wagons in there and then when you bring your train, you've got to get them out of there first before you can get these out of here back on and run around. So it makes it really fiddly. So I've got effectively one siding that could have two purposes. I could have two purposes in there uh, and a purpose siding there. I have recently got a really good book on it's amazing how many industrial railways existed in the UK right up to the present day, but certainly until the 1980s. It's amazing how many actually continued to use steam into the 1980s, but that's a different matter. And I'm quite fascinated by these ideas of these private sites, people like the Ford Motor Company. There's even a trading estate at Staines that had its own railway with its own shunters. So one of the things I'm toying with is possibility of a quarry. Um, I've got this bit I built before, that rock face goes there. I've got the wagons for this, loaded and unloaded, which I can do through here. So that might work. And then I remembered that, well, I remembered, I've, I do a lot of reading to try and bring my railway knowledge up to work out what I could put on a layout. I'm not interested in the, if you like, some of the anal factualists that people go into. I'm interested in how did railways work. Some quarries also produced stone products. So if this was a quarry, this could be the goods in building. So bringing in a few bits and pieces that the, the, the factory and quarry warehouse need. And this, I've got a gantry I could put on there. This could be for stone products out. And then the idea for this, this is a bit big, but put a coal hopper here. And this is the boiler house for the factory and quarry. So I've now got coal in, empty wagons out. I've got goods in and goods out here. And I've got wagons in and out there. I could do the whole modern industrial thing as well. I could make a more traditional layout, little station building, goods yard, cattle dock, coal merchant, siding. But that doesn't really tie in with the more modern diesel shunters that I want to run. So I'm tying at the moment between this idea, the quarry, and the more modern industrial. And I'd be interested on people's views. So this is a simple bit of just under three and a half foot MDF, standard nine inch MDF. Yes, 10 inches or 12 inches would give me more room to play, but this is a standard board. So it means if anybody's following this in theory, um, you could copy it. Uh, cheap secondhand points, some of them are very secondhand. There's five of them there. Cheap secondhand track, it's all set track, except that bit. I had to cut that bit. Um, but it's not flexi track and I just designed it the way I normally do just keep putting track down and points down until I get a track plan that works it's amazing how often it fits with set track I'm really not sure uh, I suppose a lot of people don't can't afford don't want to buy a big box of cheap secondhand track like I intended to and that's why they use set track um, but there we go I've got some cheap ballast mat um, I think we can do something with this um, but I'd be interested to know what you think do we do quarry do we do modern? Um, any other ideas? I did toy with a dock scene. Um, and I, I quite like the dock scene. I've got a couple of little fishing boats. We could put an area here. You haven't got very long to let me know, though, because I need to get on with this if I'm going to get it done um, in the two weeks I've got. And I hope uh, everybody, uh, we all get through this well. 
Um, I think everybody's doing the best that we can, but I know a lot of you are going to now be at home. And so if nothing else, we're going to try and give you plenty of videos to watch. Doug's home now tomorrow. Obviously, we're very worried about how his exams are going to happen. He's very much hoping that um, they take their mock results because he did rather well at his mocks. So that would suit him. Um, and it's a worrying time for all of us. Um, I'm, I'm not very well, so um, potentially I could be really not well if I come into contact with the wrong people. Uh, so I should definitely be in for about two weeks. Uh, but we've, I've got an elderly mum that we need to try and get out and look after as well. So we've all got these challenges. I just thought I would try and um, try and help everybody get by by doing some model railways. So all the best to everybody, and I mean that sincerely. And um, we'll do some updates of this as and when. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.